<laughs> you can tell I'm a, I'm a dog lover, huh? All right, I'm going to make sure that my mic is up and we will get started in child's pose. Uh, so everybody, just take your knees to the outer edges of your mat and walk your hands forward. Set your intention for today's practice. Drop your forehead to the mat. Set your ujjayi breath. Big, deep inhales through your nose, filling your lungs to your fullest capacity. And then a full exhale, emptying through your nose and completely letting your lungs clear out. Big inhale. Exhale. One more full inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Press your hands down into the earth as you press your hips to the sky. Take any movements you need. Maybe there's a little tension in the body, some tightness. You want to pedal your feet, bend your knees. Even shake out your head here. Like where are you holding on? Spread your fingers out even wider, push into your hands. Pull your shoulder blades into your spine. Now move them closer to your body. Press your tailbone up and your heels back. Draw in to create your full expression out. Step to ragdoll, feet behind your wrist. Shift your hips forward so you're stacking the joints here. Hips over your ankles, but drop the crown of your head. Yeah, and the crown of your head, that top part, like literally drop it towards the mat. You can grab opposite elbows. Yeah, Mickey, you can sway side to side. it feels good to bind or move, do that. Drop your right hand down to the center of your mat. Lift your left hand to the sky for a ragdoll twist. Put a big bend in your right knee and then press to the center of your left heel. Without cranking your neck, just look up at your top hand. Now pull your shoulder blades in and move your upper arm bones back. Big inhale, twist, exhale. Really good, do it again. Breathe in length, now exhale, twist. Switch to the other side, left hand to the mat, right hand to the sky, ragdoll twist. You're going for the same intention. Bend the left knee, press into the center of the right heel. Look up, and then just rinse open. Shoulder blades in, upper arm bones back. One more full inhale, rinse open, exhale, and come to the center. Walk your feet to touch. Extended mountain, full reach, lengthen up. Lift and stretch your 10 toes out. Lift your pelvis up, look up. Hands to your heart center. We'll begin our practice. One ohm. <laughs> Extended mountain, full reach. Look up. Now maybe take a tiny back bend. Forward bow. Everybody, halfway lift, flatten your spine. Step to high plank. 
Yeah, your first Sunday morning plank. Make it a good one. Like stack your joints and tighten everything in between. Now your outer shins in. Tighten your glutes. Press your pelvis forward. Push down into your hands and then take another big inhale. Exhale to low plank. Forward and down. Upward facing dog. Pull your chest through. Shoulders back. Look up. Downward facing dog. Ah. Ah, take another big breath in. Full exhale. Look at the top of your mat and then go there. Feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain. Big reach. Look up. Inhale. Bow forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Empty downward facing dog. Three breaths and your downward facing dog. Yeah, and this is called your resting down dog. So you'll find these after sun A and sun B. And each time is an opportunity to reset. Look at the top of your mat. Walk jumper float. Halfway lift. Forward bow. Extended mountain. Big reach. Look up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. So you're linking these movements into your breath. I'll often say as you inhale, receive the pose, and as you exhale, release the pose. So what I mean by that is to fully come into the pose with your breath. Yeah, don't rush the pose. Don't take it even slower. Like, just go with the breath. Look forward. Go forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Tadasana. Fill up. Exhale, fold. Yeah, your pace. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Empty and downward facing dog. Three breaths. Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. Ah, we're just rounding through some sun A's. You can start in child's pose or meet us right here. Everybody, look at the top of your mat. Go forward. Halfway lift. Bow. Extended mountain. Take a tiny back bend right at the top. Look back. Forward bow. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. High to low. Upward dog. Empty downward dog. And you can let out a big clear here. So full inhale. Yeah. Ha. Look at the top of your mat. Fly there. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Chair pose. Great job, you guys. Think about lifting your pelvis up towards your belly button and then sit down even lower. Yeah, it creates a neutral spine. And then press your knees back. Safety in the legs, you guys. And then drop down even lower. Yeah, we underestimate our legs right here. You are in your head thinking about intensity, but you're carrying yourself with these guys all day. Stay in. From your skin to your muscle to your bone, hug in. Don't do it, Dre. Stay there. And then lower your butt three inches. All of you right here, breathe in. Bow forward. Great job. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take your right foot to the top of your mat, warrior one. So you're stepping your right foot forward. Now, if your foot gives you into a shallow lunge, take it even deeper. Straighten the back knee. That's it. Power in the leg. So press your inner ankles back, but push your outer ankle down. Square your hips forward and then take your lunge a little bit deeper. That's it. Right there. Big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Great job, you guys. Upward dog. Empty downward facing dog. I'll take it on the left side. Warrior one. Great job. Yeah. Push your inner ankles back, but your outer ankles down. 
So that knife edge of your back foot, push into it as you straighten the leg, lunge into your left knee. Spark energy out of your fingers. Look up. Chaturanga, get low. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Whew. Breath in. Breath out. Everybody look forward. Go there. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Sit down in your hips. Reach up. Spark your fingers. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. That's it. Breath. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Warrior one. Right foot to the top of your mat. Fill up. Ground down. Lift up. Chaturanga. Flow to the other side. So you'll take an upward dog to downward dog and we'll meet in warrior one on the left. Grounded in your feet. Come into a deep lunge. Reach your hands up. Look up. Chaturanga and flow. That's it. We'll meet downward facing dog. Ah, sun bees are like wakening the body, getting the flow moving. So two more right here. Look forward, go forward. Half lift, inhale, bow forward, exhale. Ukatasana, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Stay in your breath. Warrior one, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Ah, upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Look forward, float. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, bow. Ukatasana, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward dog, downward dog, right foot warrior one, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing, downward facing, left side warrior one. Don't cheat it, keep going. Chaturanga, upward facing. We'll all meet together, downward facing dog. Ha. Sometimes a clearing breath just feels good. It allows that anxiety, the stress, the tension, whatever is sticking into the body, it allows it out. Ah, my husband uses this method all the time. I, I promise it works. It's either that or he's just really fed up with me. So I like to believe it's the prior. So together, let's do that. Fill your lungs all the way to capacity and then hold it until it starts to feel uncomfortable. Right there, it's getting a little bit tighter. You really want to let it go, but don't. Right here for three, two, stick out your tongue. Ah, like really let it out. Hands together at the top of your mat. Three-legged down dog. Lift your right foot up to the ceiling and bend your knee. So you're creating a little hook and then press your hook back. So you're stacking the hips here. You're going to get a little ease. So drop down and then open up, stacking the hips. That's it. If you want more, flip your dog. Right foot down towards the earth, right hand up. Beautiful. That's it right there. Drop your gaze. Big inhale. Open up a little more, exhale. Ah, side plank on your right. Stack your right shoulder over your right wrist. I have a shoulder injury and so for me, sometimes in these side planks, I take a little bit of an angle. So I'm pressing away from the earth. So Sham, can you take your hand up a little bit here? Yeah, so if you just move it a little bit, you can press your hand away from you and it'll take that pressure off of the shoulder. The other thing that's going to take the pressure off is to tighten up here from your skin to your muscle to your bone. Hug in. 
And then from here, what's possible? You guys, you live in the land of I know what I know. What don't you know? Where can you go? Get out of the comfort zone. It's no fun there. Yes, that's it. Sean, look back. Open up. All of you expand from the inside out. Chaturanga. Great job. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Now challenge yourself on the left. Bring your hands to touch. Three-legged down dog on your left side. Lifting the left leg, bend your left knee. I have a little less access on my left side than my right side, so it really makes the discovery a little more fun. It's like, where am I gaining? Where am I losing? Right here, draw in to create your full expression. That's it, go for it. If it's flip dog, flip right here. And then lift up. Yes, Melissa, ground through your feet. Lift up in the hips. That's it, Monica. Beautiful, yes. Go for it, Mickey. Reach back, Nina. You got it, Nan. Side plank on your left. However you get there. When I first started my practice, I looked like a fish out of water flopping around. And then it got a little more graceful. What do you need to activate here? Where's the action? Flexing your toes. Or lifting your hips. Look up and then go there. Why wait? You are ready right now. Yes, that's it. Oh my gosh, Erin, you are the cutest thing ever. I love it. That's it. Push yourself to the edge right here. Open up. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. <sighs> yeah, some people say when you're pregnant, you're eating for two. Aaron's, Aaron is yogaing for two. Yeah. I love it. It's great. Yeah. Here we go. Breath in, clear out. Lift your left foot to the sky. Crescent lunge. Yeah. If you are present, you realize I said the left. If you're on autopilot, you've got your right foot forward. Pull your left knee forward towards your left pinky toe. Straighten your back heel and your back leg as you reach up, get even longer. Now lunge in and go for a tiny back bend. Right there, lunge in, go back, go back. Chaturanga. Great job, you guys. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Take the right foot to the top of your mat, crescent lunge. It's so easy to just get into um, autopilot, right? Just to get into a pattern and forget that like, you can do something different. How, where, right here, can you do something different? Straighten the back leg, lift the back heel. Pull your front ribs in. Now with all that room in the mid back, lift up and go back. That's it, Sham, look up, go back, all of you, go back even deeper. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breath in, clear out. Yeah, step your right foot to the top of your mat, back into crescent lunge. We're gonna take prayer twist. So this time, pull your front ribs in, but engage the core so you have a lot of space. Hands at your heart center. Twist to your right. So you're gonna pull your left tricep into your right thigh. And then pull the crown of your head up towards the front of you, like whatever's in front of you, a wall, the car, whatever it is, like reach forward. And now I want you to twist through the thoracic spine. Pull your top shoulder back. Move your bottom rib cage forward. Push into your hands. You've got it. Lengthen. Rinse out. Warrior two. Push your left heel down into the mat. Drive your right knee forward and over to your right pinky toe. 
Reverse your warrior. Palm up, go back. That's it, lunge in, go back. Extended side angle. Take your right hand to the inside, your left hand up towards the sky. Yeah, and some of you I see have a block. A block is a great um, extension here, allowing the earth to come up to you. If you don't have a block, I've seen a lot of people using paper towel rolls, and those are also, it's a, it's a great extension there. So everybody find a little bit of length. And now rinse, top shoulder back, bottom shoulder forward. That's it, take another one, breathe in, and then take a little twist. Now we've got about four more breaths. So if you're looking to advance here, I want you to bend your elbow behind your back. You can start working for this bind. Maybe you're reaching for your thigh. Now if you wanna move into Bird of Paradise, you can take the full bind and then start to step up. That's it, Melissa. Yeah, that's, yeah, lift the back. That's it, Nicole. Really good, yes, Nan. You guys are amazing. That's it. Now, take it a little bit deeper. Those of you who are just standing, pull the top shoulder back, bottom shoulder forward. We're not just standing. We're all in our quads, right? Like, that's it. Yes, Andre. Everybody, one more inhale. Everybody, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Woo! You guys are working. Lift the left foot up. Let's move in. Crescent lunge. Set your foundation. Hands at heart center. Twist to your left. Perfect. Right tricep into your left thigh. Action in your back leg. Straighten the back leg. Press your heel up. Beautiful. Just like that. Everybody look up, don't crank the neck, but look and then twist, top shoulder back, bottom shoulder forward. I always think of like a golfer here with their swing, like getting the shoulders where they're lined right on top and then look up as if you could see your top shoulder and then everybody crank a little twist. Warrior two, spin it back around, right foot down into the earth. Be mindful of your left knee, you guys. The knee likes to track towards the big toe. Move it over to your pinky toe. Extended side angle. I have really tight IT bands and I start to get like jumper's knee or this pain on the knees and I realize it's, you know, that lack of awareness. So I invite you, really bring the awareness into your legs here. And then if you want to advance this pose, if you're moving into that bind or bird of paradise, I invite you to move now. But for all of us right here, like I have two gentlemen in the room and all I see is a little booty poke. So lift the front of your pelvis. Let your tailbone face your back heel. That's it. So you're kind of squeezing the glutes and then lunge in. And there you go. Twist open. Beautiful, Monica. Puff your chest. Open your mid back. That's it, Dot. Everybody, full inhale. Twist. You got it. One more big inhale. Open up. Exhale. Everybody, chaturanga. Yeah, however you get there, right, Shum? Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Yeah, see, so the truth about yoga that nobody tells you guys is like yoga actually is not pretty. Yeah, right, Sean? Like, I've been in programs and, like, with really professional yogis, and it's just not that pretty. Yeah, if you're trying to make it look pretty, stop. Like, get into the body, you guys. Really, out of your head. Don't worry about what it looks like. Get into what it feels like. Look forward. Go there. Feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward bow. Chair pose. We're gonna move to eagle on the right. So right leg over your left leg, right arm underneath your left arm. Study your gaze here. Your gaze is one of the most important tools that you have. I actually spoke to this in my class yesterday. Like your gaze can not only like steady you, but it can really help to get you through life. Like if you always have a fixed drishti, like if you never change your perspective, there's no growth. Use your gaze as a balancing point. 
Tadasana. Eagle on the left, left leg over, left arm under. Steady your breath. Soften your joints. Switch to the other side. Eagle. Right arm over, right leg over. Lift your elbows in line with your shoulders. Press your hands forward. Take an inhale. Exhale to the other side. Eagle on your left. Left leg over, left arm under. When I get tired and I'm in an eagle or a chair pose, I tend to push my booty out and let my core disengage. Notice if you're in that position, just lift your pelvis and tighten the core as you sink a little bit lower. Tadasana, big reach. Standing leg raise on your right. So I want you to pull your right knee at hip height. Look at your right foot, flex your toes to 12 o'clock. Or face your toes to 12 o'clock, flex your toes towards your face. You can take an opening here, moving your knee over to the right or your leg. Is that a block on your leg? Wow. It's impressive, girl. Come back into the center. Airplane. Oh, it's your wheel. That's so cool. Right here in airplane, draw your thoracic spine in. Move your upper arm bones back. Yeah, if your plane has a lot of turbulence, think about tightening up. Like, where can you engage? Lift up, flex your feet, lengthen out, half moon. Drop your left hand to a block or the earth. Yeah, maybe now's a good time to grab that water bottle and hang it out there. And then stack the hips, stack your shoulders. And then lift up right here. You got it. Everything lifts up. Now, if you want to look up, you can look up. And Chom's going for Chapasana. If you want Chapasana, bend your knee, reach back for your shin. And after you grab it, just open up there, puff your chest. Rag doll. Ooh. Shift your hips forward. Yeah, and shake it out. Whatever. That is right here. Maybe it's side to side. Maybe it's a head. Maybe it's your arms. And with your peace fingers, grab your big toes. Inhale, lift halfway. Flatten your spine. Bend your knees. Exhale, bow forward. Lift the tailbone up and drop your head down. Almost as if you're using your toes to pull you closer to your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Release your feet and bring your, bring your feet to touch. Tadasana, full extension. Reach up. Root to rise. Look up. Standing leg raise. Left side. So pull your left knee at hip height. Again, action in the feet. Expand. You can take your knee over to your left side and your hand over to the right. Back into the center, tall, lengthen up, airplane. Soften your standing knee, so a bend in your, your standing leg, and then gaze your, <laughs> gaze your eyes, yeah. Shift your gaze to the top of your mat or in front of you. 
half moon. Right hand down to your block or the earth. And I keep my gaze down just to help steady myself until my bones are stacked. Once I've got my head stacked and my shoulders stacked, then I start to open up even more. That's it, right? Look up. Right there. Now lift your toes. Everybody flex your feet. Go even taller. Ragdoll. Great work. Gorilla. Slide your palms underneath your feet. Yeah, uncomfortably, like till your toes kiss your wrist. I put a large bend in my knees here. It's really up to you. But a big bend in the knees will allow you a little more space to come from. So drop your head, shake it out. Just say yes. Uh, maybe a little no for that resistance. And then come back to a yes. Inhale, flatten your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Oh, getting that release out of the low lumbar. Breath in. Empty it out. Release your hands. Bring your feet together. Extended mountain. Tree. Bring your hands to a place of stability. Now, for many of us, that's at heart center. And bring your right foot into your left leg, anywhere above or below your knee. You have the option to stay exactly where you are and just breathe for the next six breaths or to explore. And that exploration is whatever you create right here. It could be lifting the hands or the gaze. It could be moving into a bonsai pose. What's there for you? Three more breaths. Full inhale, Tadasana, ground both feet, lengthen up. If you want to back bend, take it here. Tree, and take your left foot into your right leg. Just moving over to the other side. Four more breaths. Draw into your center line. Lift up from the crown of your head. And you might have to turn your um, volume up if you can't hear me. That's it, everybody. Big inhale. Tadasana, full breath. Reach up, look up. Take a tiny back bend, maybe a big one forward bow, halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step your right foot to the top of your mat, warrior one, grounding back into the earth, getting your foundation set. Warrior two, open up. And warrior two, you're gonna kind of take a warrior one, but you're opening the hips here. Pull the knee forward and over to the pinky toe and stack your shoulders. Pull your shoulder blades into your spine, move them into your body. Extend your front knee. Now, so your both legs are straight here, trikonasana. Come forward and down to the outside of your right foot. Now, I need a block here and I need to extend my legs. So I take a little more distance between my legs for comfort here. Notice if you wanna expand here, you can take more distance between the feet and create a stable foundation. And from there, there's a little more access to puff the chest and go for a tiny back bend. That's it, press your pelvis forward, top hip back, bottom hip forward. That's it, now gaze up, just look for your top hand. Puff your chest out and expand even more. 
warrior two, bend your front knee, reverse your warrior, take it back, chaturanga, blow it out, upward facing dog, empty downward facing dog. We're going to take it to the left side, warrior one, step forward, lunge in, open and warrior two, Bringing the awareness back into this warrior two. Pull your knee over to your pinky toe, shaman, everyone. Trikonasana, straighten both legs. Come forward and down to the outside of your left. And notice if you are just in default, if you're like, this is my triangle and this is how I'm going, be willing to come apart here. Maybe that extra length feels good. Yeah, so if I am setting up like Sham, this would normally be it. Maybe today I'm going out even deeper. This is it. Now my hand's down. My chest is out. That's it. Expand from the inside out. Warrior two. Bend your front knee. Come back in. Reverse your warrior. Take it back. Look back. Chaturanga. Let's flow. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Take a big deep inhale, a full exhale, high plank. I don't know. Do you guys remember this from the beginning of class? No. <laughs> Sean laughs at me. She's like, really, Leah, bad joke. All right, fair. From your skin to your muscle to your bone, hug in. Yeah, like a tightness test, like really squeeze in and lower to the mat. One plank, don't break the plank. And find your belly. And just come to your favorite cheek. Switch to your other cheek. Dogs get all the credit, and I'm pretty sure I just saw my first feline in virtual yoga. All right, here we go. Look at your mat. Let's get into some back bends. Let's get fired up. Locust, right here. Lift the shoulders. Yes, John, lift the hands. Lift your feet all the way up onto your pelvis. Lower to the mat. Rock your hips. And then go again, long and strong, lengthen out, lift up. Come on, Mickey, get your chin in the camera. I want to see it. That's it. Breathe in, lower down. Yes. He rose to the challenge, literally. I bend your knees. We're going to take floor bow. Um, awesome, Aaron. You already knew where to go. All right, floor bow, lift up. And then roll to your right side. Yeah, take your bow on to your right side and then press away. Get even longer here on your side. That's it. Press away. Open up. Expand. Yeah. And then come back. Yeah, and it's kind of awkward. You're kind of rolling back. They heard it nice, Melissa. Yeah, some of you guys made that easy. Now lift back up and then move over to the left. That's it, Nicole. Go to your left. Boom. Just like that. Now open up. As soon as you hit the left side, you don't go dead, you guys. Press your shins away. That's it. Like if I wanted to pick you up and anchor you, lift up and then roll back onto your belly. Boom. Full expression out. <laughs> Lower to the mat. Really good job. Knee side to side. Take upward facing dog. Come off of the thighs. Lift up and look. Downward facing dog. And I invite you to find your way onto your spine so you can levitate, you can float, you can flop, whatever it takes. And we'll set up for bridge. 
And bridge, I just want you to pull your heels towards your glutes where your fingertips can touch the back of your ankles and press down into your heels, lift up in your hips. So the power of your legs here, stay active, bridge, go for it, lift up. Pull your front ribs in, give yourself some room in the mid back and then lift even higher for three, two, lower, knees side to side. And bridge leads to wheel. Ah, so right here, if wheel is in your practice, bring your hands by your shoulders. If not, you're going for bridge. So wheel, lift up. Yeah, that looks like it feels wheel good, show me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody draw your shoulder blades in and then go a little bit deeper. That's it. Pull your chest towards me, Nicole. And then lower to the mat. Ah, knees side to side. And then we're going for round two. Just like that, two is on you. Press down to lift up, go for it. Big breath. And if you want more in your wheel, if you want more in your bridge, take it. That's it, Erin. Beautiful. Yes, get up on the toes, that's it, Ian. Yes, everybody, draw in. Beautiful, Melissa, you got it, Nicole. Lower down. All right, third wheel right here. This is it. We're going to call it the wheel deal. So hands down, wheels up right here. That's up. Wheels up now. Beautiful. Right there. Expand from the inside out. Come on, Sandra. You got it. Everybody lift up. Express out. Draw your chin to your chest and lower to the mat. Supta Baddha Konasana. Yeah, if your wrists um, are a little tired at this point, you can ball your wrist and just take little circles to the right. And some circles to the left. And then shake them out. Like a hard shake, like really shake and then shake. Yeah. Pull your knees to your chest. Squeeze them into your body, giving yourself a giant hug. I just like to kiss my kneecaps. It's like they give me the most pain, so I'm always really grateful that they're hanging out with me, allowing me in this incredible work. Maybe I should kiss my elbows, too, because they also are painful sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah. And then lift your feet to the sky. Press your sacrum down into the earth. Flex your toes. And if you need um, some additional support in your low back, bring your hands down under your low back. Do you want to advance this core work? You can bring your hands by your temples or over your head. Drop your feet 30 degrees. Drop your feet 30 more. Pull your feet to a hover and then hold for three, two, and one, lift all the way to the sky. Lower 30 degrees. Lower 30 more. Take your feet to a hover and lift your left foot to the sky. Leave your right foot where it is. Bring your hands by your temples and start to pulse up. Ah, these are our scissor kicks, but we're not actually um, switching the legs. Just keep pulsing right there for another 18, 17, 16. Pit of the belly, really tight, core finally engaged. Here it is for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch your legs and then go for 24 more. Here you go. Keep going. Rounding it out. Even out this side. You've got it. Pit of the belly in and up. Pressing the sacrum down. Your back is flat on the mat. You're really using the core here for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Action in the feet. You've got it for four, three, two, one. Knees to your chest. 
Yeah, we're gonna round it out. This is the last one. So we're going for 15. We're gonna do X crunches. So you're coming out in an X and then you're gonna pull everything in to a crunch. So ready, Sham? All right, X out and then crunch it all in. And then go for an X and then crunch it in. Here we go, 14. You got it, 13. Don't whip the hands out and in, show me. Bend the elbows in. Nice. Yes, keep going. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8. You got it. Keep moving. 7. Here it is. 6. Big X crunches. For 5, 4. Tight core. You got it. 3. Only 2 more. Right here. Pump it out. Last one. High boat. Hanging out in boat. You got it right here. What does that look like for you? Puff your chest, straighten the shoulders. Yeah, I'm kind of rocking a little. I'm gonna bend my knees here and really get a full expression. Big breath in, low boat. Hover it out right here for three, two, no boat. <sighs> Woo! My core is on the floor. Whew. Now knees into your chest, rock and roll from your neck to your feet, three or four times, downward facing dog. Whew. From your down dog, sorry Melissa, to your frog. <laughs> Camera's on, I get to see her disdain. <laughs> So you're shifting yourself sideways on your mat and just allow your knees to go out. So if you are experiencing any type of knee pain or knee discomfort, you can even roll your mat a little more. I um, have gone to these programs sometimes where they really hold us in this pose for between 16 and 30 minutes. And you can imagine as intense as it is right here, imagine what it feels like 16 or 30 minutes as your body is easing in. So I bought these things called yoga jellies and I can stick them under my knees to take off a little edge. So know that if you're feeling an intensity or a pressure, like you can put something under your knee to just bring a little ease. Where can you bring ease in your practice? Oh, where can you bring ease in your life right now? Flex your toes and press your hips back. <laughs> oh, where's the resistance showing up? Oh. It's funny because they say what um, shows up on your mat pretty much shows up everywhere in your life. And, and I experienced that. I experienced that in myself and I experienced that in others. Like literally right now, Sham's like, I'm good. Like, it's cool. <laughs> I don't need an assist. And anytime you try to help Sham, she says that. So <laughs> right here, right now, I'm going to just hang out with her. And I invite you to hang out in your body right there. Even in that discomfort, like she's laughing. Yeah, maybe laughing in pain, but I'm going to say it's laughing and you know, in the growth here. So think about lift the front of your pelvis and then let your tailbone descend. Like take the assist. Yeah, maybe even give yourself the assist. And then push back into that discomfort. I know it's unfortunate, but we have limited time here. Like not just on the earth. I mean, it's true. We have limited time here. We have limited time right here, right here in hips, right here in frog, releasing the tension that exists right now. So instead of talking yourself out or staying in your comfort zone, that place where there's no resistance, press back and really sink in right here. You've got four last breaths. Like find your edge and hold, not your breath, your edge. The deeper the breath, the easier the surrender. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Everybody, slowly release forward onto your belly. 
straighten your legs behind you. Come on to your butt. Yeah, your feet out in front of you in a seated position for seated forward fold. We're coming into a release of the lower lumbar. So both legs out straight, reach up tall, hinging from your hips, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, bow forward. So some of you may be really um, able to extend like Sham. I invite you to bring more out here so that you're really finding that edge. For some of us, we place a bend in our knees because we can barely reach our feet. For those of you who have the extra extension, put something there. Uh, breathe in, length. Exhale, fold. And then just take one more full inhale. Clear it out. And then everyone slowly roll to your back for an inversion of your choice. Waterfall is my favorite. After a long, hard practice, just place the block under me, my feet up, I'm done. Yeah, but you can roll into shoulder stand, just rolling all the way onto the shoulder blades, bringing your hands at your low back, or even into traditional header handstand. Just allow the blood to flow back into your body. You're in shoulder stand, go to plow. Feet to the earth behind you. Press your thighs up and away. From plow, Karnapadasana. Bend your knees, cover your ear holes. From Karnapadasana, back to plow. From plow, one foot at a time, into shoulder stand. You're in traditional headstand, make your way to child's pose. Mindfully, everyone, roll out onto your back. Supta Kanasana. And Supta Baddha Kanasana, bring the soles of your feet to touch. Your knees out. And take a big full inhale here. Stick out your tongue. Ha! Shavasana, final rest. Take up space, close your eyes. Redefine service. Service is a key, an important one. It's a key to joy, to love, and a gold key to the journey. How long we thought service meant doing everything for everyone. How long we thought service had to be hard, taxing, boring. That it meant doing something we didn't want to do to help someone who didn't want to be helped. Now we're defining service differently. Service is joyful. It is an attitude, a belief, a way at looking at ourselves and our lives. Our very life is service. Our being is service. Service arises and springs naturally out of self-love. 
It arises from being who we are and from doing things that we want to do and are led to do. The things that bring us the most joy bring the most service to the world. Doing things we don't want to do will leave us and the world around us cold, untouched, and unmoved. Service is love and joy. Service is being who you are. Ask and self-love. Service will flow naturally from that. It will be freely given and freely received. And now what you do will really help. Of our knowledge are broken And the sound of the walls that surround our mind Tumbling down rock the boat in the ocean of life And we'll see the light inside of ourselves and every other But to the higher being in all our sisters and our brothers Singing on, I say it on, I say it on Now we'll stay right here on I say it on, I say it on Now we'll stay right here Self in me, bows of the higher self in thee, as the higher self in you, bows of the higher self in I, and we will unite as the highest high. Hit me with this music, make me feel alright. We having a soul shakedown party here tonight. I'll bow to pass a by, show my respect to the wise. I sing an ohm as I align my third eye. The eight points of my feet are grounded right here tonight because we move through the music. We live for the moment, and every single breath is an appreciated notion from my soul to my tongue and the stars and above. And every single word that I sing in this song, cause we're moving up the love from me to you. And when we share, we gonna make it just do what it do with an energetic statement that'll make it all move to the highest conscious level of this iry groove. With a I say it on, I say it on, now we'll stay right here. I'm 
I'll stay right here. I'll stay to your right side. With your eyes closed, press up to a seated position. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to your heart center. And we'll seal our practice just as we began with one ohm. Inhale. Ah. Pull your thumb knuckles to your forehead center. Together, let's bow. Namaste. Great job, you guys. Yes, and thank you so much, Sean, and thank you, gentlemen, for being here as well. And I always thank each and every one of you, like, for, for making it on here and staying in your practice. Um, couldn't be more proud of, of all of you, to be honest, to all the teachers and the EEs and all the participants who are showing up. Um, I did read last night that they've given us a little more information around um, what's coming next. So we are not going to be allowed to open in phase one, you guys. So just so you know, they made that very clear. Gyms and fitness facilities, yoga studios, Pilates, we are not allowed to open. We will be allowed to open in phase two at 75% capacity. So as soon as they allow restaurants and all that to go, they'll open the bars and gyms last at 75% capacity in phase two. They haven't given us a date. So what I'm going to tell you is we'll continue to stay right here available for you. Even as we open into the second phase, we're going to continue to offer this right here. There's going to be an adaptation process, you guys. Some people are going to be ready to be out. Some already are out. And some of us just aren't there yet. And so we're going to work with you on that. We're going to continue to hold these even as we open up. So keep joining. Stay with us. We'll keep you plugged in. If you're not on our email, get on the email. We're sending information via email and out to our social media outlets. Erin, I don't know when you're due, but I know your birthday is May the 17th. I'm May the 18th, girl, so we'll do a birthday celebration next week. All right? Yes. Perfect. All right, you guys. I love each and every one of you. Melissa Thrasher, stay on the line. You guys, we'll see you all really soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You'll see her. She's. Melissa, you turned your camera off. Come back. No, I'm, I'm still on it. Oh, okay. There you are. We see you. Uh, <laughs> like, do you see Dre? He won't get off his mat, but Dre's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this creepy guy, this mongoose guy. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. see him messing with Dre's head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John's like cranking your head. <laughs> of course, leave it to John to know he could, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, Julie. Look at their dog, Dre. This is their Jill, new pup, Sean. Look, Jill, look. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny. I know, right? I was the same way. I was like, what happened? <laughs> Dre yeah, saying, what's up, little nugget? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll get the um, John a little thing so you can hear him. It's been clean, but you can talk into that. Hello. 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 Look at my Janet Jackson in the control video. Control. <laughs> now he got won't let me lot. put any of that on video. Control. Like, how's that even happen? <laughs> You're recording this? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we edit it out, so it won't make it. But I might send it to you, Melissa. Do It'll be one of the talking? body outtakes for the video. Yeah. <laughs> What's that dog doing? Sleeping in the bed. I hope. No. She's sleeping. Bad influence. <laughs> Jilly, get in the bed, girl. Get Don't do bed. it, dog. Look how cute you are. You can Don't do it, bed. dog. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Okay, you go into your um your dad's. We may grab breakfast if they got time, then I'm gonna head down later. Okay. So I wish you were here. We yeah. miss you. I know, we miss you. Miss I love you. you. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Bye.